Hello what's up, in this quick edit video I will be doing somewhat of a more complex editing by combining different exposures using luminosity masks in Photoshop. Besides that I want to give this image more of an autumn look and apply a subtle glow effect as well, but let's just jump right into the editing. Alright, you can see I'm in the camera raw editor and down here you can see the different exposures for the same spot. So here we have the middle exposure, then the dark exposure where we just need the highlights right there and a bright exposure where we do have a lot of detail in the darkest areas, especially on the right side. For the base adjustments I'm going to use the middle exposure. So let's start in the optics tab by activating those settings and I'm also changing the camera profile to Adobe Standard. Then for the white balance I want to go with cloudy. This will just reduce the color cast a little bit and you can see it made those light rays a little colder which looks a bit more natural. Now since I'm combining different exposures to not have any over or under exposure I don't really need to adjust those basic settings. Instead I can go straight to the texture and drop it a little bit which will give this image a subtle soft look. I'm also adding clarity for some more structure. And then let's also add some vibrance to get a nicely saturated image. Okay, nice. Now for this shot also, there aren't any local adjustments. So I can go straight to the color mixer. And the first thing I want to do here is to get rid of the green foliage in the back. And I'm doing this in the hue tab by simply dropping the green hue. I can make this effect a little stronger by also dropping the yellow hue. But that's about it and it feels a lot more like an autumn image. In the saturation tab I want to boost the orange tones, the yellow tones. And then just to be safe I want to drop the greens and the aqua tones and the blue tones. Alright, then there's the color grading tab left. Here I'm just working with the highlights and the midtones. And for both of them I want to apply a warm color tone somewhere in this range. This might be a little too saturated so let's drop it. Okay, and let's do the same thing for the midtones. Again, it's way too strong so I'm dropping the saturation. But that should be enough. Finally, in the details tab I'm sharpening this image. And now we do have our base raw adjustments. Of course, I want to copy all those settings on the other exposures down there. That's easily done. I'm simply holding down the shift key, click on the last image to select all three of them, then right click, sync settings and then make sure to check all and hit OK. And once that is done, we can simply hit open to open them in Photoshop. Alright, first I want to do the exposure blending using luminosity masks. Now we do have our three images opened in Photoshop and for this technique I want the brightest image to be the base image. So here we have our middle exposure which I'm going to copy over by hitting Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy this image. Then I'm going to move the brightest exposure and just pass it right above the other image. Then I'm doing the same thing with the dark exposure, Ctrl A, Ctrl C. Now I can close those two because we don't need them anymore. And now comes the tricky part for which I will be using the TK panel plugin since this just allows me to create luminosity masks easily. For this I'm going to turn off the top two layers and also I'm applying a layer mask on them. And now I want to start blending the middle exposure. Right now on the bright exposure the shadows do look really good but the problem is this area right here. 
that's way 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 too overexposed and that's why we need this layer. With the TK panel plugin I can simply hit this composite button and when I activate this layer again you can see the overexposure in this area got a little less. But also the shadows got a little darker as well and therefore we can work on this layer mask. Here I'm going into the two up mode, select vertical so I can see layer mask and image side by side. Now I'm scaling it down a little bit and hit this button to make them the same size. And now I'm grabbing a brush tool and I make sure to make the opacity not too strong. And I'm starting with black as the foreground color. So I want to keep the shadows of the original bright layer. That means I need to mask them out here. So I'm just painting over here with black. And if you watch the image on the right side, the shadows should get brighter. And I can repeat this to brighten up the shadows. Just like that. And that looks pretty good. So we can close this window. And let's deactivate work mode. And you can see we have nicely blended those two layers together. Now I could maybe make those light rays a little brighter. Again, by just brushing over them with black. Something like this maybe. Now you can still see there is overexposure left. And that's why we have the darkest exposure right here, which is still deactivated. All I need to do again is to select it and hit the composite button of the TK panel plugin. Now if I make it visible, you can see the overexposure is gone, but also the rest of the image does look a bit weird. So I'm again going into the two up mode, select vertical and hit this little button. And for this layer, I basically want to get rid of everything except this area to prevent the overexposure. So again, with black set as the foreground color, I'm going to paint over the rest of the image. And that's it. You can see we now have a nicely blended image. Okay, then let's finish this image. First, I want to merge those three layers by selecting them and hitting Ctrl E. Then I'm using the spot healing brush to clean up this shot. So let's paint over the sensor spot first. And then I'm also removing those things beside the road. Okay, nice. Then let's add some contrast by using a curves adjustment layer. And here I'm simply applying a S curve. All right, nice. I think the right side of the image is a little too dark now. So I'm again just using a black brush with the layer mask activated. I'm just painting over the right side. All right, again, I want to merge those two layers and let's maybe add a subtle glow effect on top of it. Therefore, I'm creating a new layer and switch the blending mode to soft light. And with the brush tool selected, I'm picking up a color from up there by holding down the Alt key and clicking in here. This might be a little too saturated, so let's go with something like this. And again, drop the brush opacity, otherwise this effect would be way too strong. And then just carefully paint in some glow in there. And that should be enough already. Now let's merge those two one more time. And then it's time to check the Nick Collection plugin. Alright, so first maybe let's use the polarization filter since this will just make the colors a little more awesome. Then I'm adding another filter right away by hitting this button. 
and I think the image could use some more contrast, so I'm using the Pro Contrast filter and just slightly add some dynamic contrast and correct contrast. Okay, this looks really nice. And finally, I think I want to add some more glow. So let's add one more filter. And this time go with the Glamour Glow filter. I do want to reset the saturation. Or actually, let's bring it down just a bit. And let's also bring down the glow strength. This should be really good. Okay. And here we have our final image. So I hope this video was helpful and interesting. If you have questions about the editing, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video.